and the subject you're on. Uh, can you hear me okay now? Well, you're still really low. Can you put the mouthpiece directly in front of your mouth and really talk loud, please? Okay, how's this? That's better. We, you see, we don't have normal radio equipment here. It's how we keep prices low so that we can afford to do this. We just have a speaker phone about 14 inches away from a microphone. Uh huh. And it's quite enlightening uh, what I'm learning from different sources at the same time. And I haven't been listening to your program very long, but I uh, have come to understand that you are, uh, I don't know how to say, maybe pro militia, uh, as I am as well. Absolutely. It is the duty of all Americans. It, it was uh, pre-existing the government. In fact, the Constitution recognizes that the militia pre-existed the Constitution. And I agree, and I'm aware. And the uh, point I want to make was, in, in uh, regards to this subject you're talking about, I'm, I'm concerned that uh, any militia group that has any degree of Freemason in it has been compromised. And I wanted to see what your opinion was on that. Well, that's not necessarily true, because uh, as you probably heard me say tonight, the, the, the people in the lower degrees really have no idea what it is to which they belong. They're there for, for gain, or because one of their friends belongs and brought them in, and they like the camaraderie, and they got to meet people they never would ever have met in their entire life, um, they are guaranteed to be helped up the ladder. They're guaranteed to be helped in any legal problem they have. They're guaranteed to get preference on contracts and jobs and promotions and everything else. So most of them are there for social and selfish reasons, for material gain and for, for being able to hobnob with the, with the top of the community. And uh, they're, they're what we call useful idiots. So just because they're in your militia, if they belong to the lower degrees, does not mean that your militia has been compromised. Well, in regards to their oaths, if they were sent to spy, so to speak, uh, because you have to realize that the people that the militias are directly in conflict with are the ones that are in the high positions that are, that are causing all of the grief in this government. Absolutely, and that's when they would discover what it was to which they belonged, and at that point they would have to make a decision. Am I going to go and spy on these men who, who I, I love and I'm, I belong to their militia group because I believe in this country and I think that we're going to have to fight for our liberties and freedoms, or am I going to obey the dictates of the Lodge and go and spy on these people? And, in regards to their oath, if they were sent, would be compelled to go? Well, not necessarily, because the oaths are taken under a fraud that it is a benevolent order existing for the good of the community. Anything perpetrated under fraud is no longer holding or binding. Do you understand? I understand. So at that point, they could renounce it all and walk away. But now we have to ask ourselves, would they do that? Well, you have right to be. Well, I would, I would just tell our brothers out there to be watchful. Yeah, it's, it's the oaths that are the key, and it is the human condition that would probably make them obey the Lodge rather than do what they should do and go and tell the truth about what they've been involved in and what they were asked to do and renounce it. Yes, and remember, it's not just Freemasons. It's all of these fraternal orders. I don't care what you call it. I don't care what they profess to be doing. When you get into the actual writings and speeches and newsletters and publications and uh, training books and, and uh, courses that they, that they teach, you're going to find that this country was taken over by a subversive movement shortly after it was founded. That's correct. Well, I'm going to let you go. I appreciate your 
appreciate your show, and thank you for talking. Thank you for calling. Goodbye. The number is 520-333-4578. That's 520-333-4578. And uh, the subject tonight, you already know. You heard the Art Bell and the little 32nd degree Freemason deception there that I played for you that Art Bell ran on his broadcast just a few nights ago. And, uh, <laughs> folks, you would be just absolutely amazed. The, uh, the newspaper or the newsletter or the journal of the Scottish Rite of Freemasonry up until the point just a few years ago when it was discovered uh, to, to be what it was, was called the New Age. Where do you think the New Age movement comes from? It comes out of these secret societies and secret orders. Were you aware that the exact same New Age movement with the exact same teachings prevailed in Germany during Hitler's rise to power during the 30s? Were you aware that Hitler belonged to the Thule Lodge in Germany? That he got his beginning and his boost up the ladder? to the dictatorship of Germany because he was a member in a secret order? How many of you knew that? How many of you knew that Nazi means National Socialist German Workers' Party? It doesn't mean national right-wing conservative constitutionalist Christian party. It means national socialist German workers party. Hitler was a socialist. The battle to bring Hitler to power was not between the right and the left. It was between socialism and communism and Hitler didn't even know enough to know that the end the end goal of socialism is communism. Good evening. You're on the air. Uh, yes. Uh, Just like the last caller, I need you to put your mouth right in front I'm of sorry, the phone. Yes. Talk much louder. Okay, better. Um, I uh, listening to your program, and I'm just wondering uh, if there's some uh, good books around that you may be able to offer, or that I can pick up someplace uh, to more or less, uh, you know, give me a, uh, a fuller education on this. First one you need to look for right off the bat is Morals and Dogma by Albert Pike. <clears throat> if, you, if you go to enough used bookstores, you will find it. Morals and Dogma Albert. by Albert Pike. Okay, thank you. Start with that. Thank you. That should be your primary education. Thank you for calling. Thank you. Bye. 520-333-4578. Anyone who has not rid, has not, there goes that dry throat again. My tongue sticks, literally, I'm not kidding, my tongue is sticking to, the, to my mouth. It's the most incredible feeling. Anyone who has not read Albert Pike's Morals and Dogma must do so. Good evening, you're on the air. Fuck you, bitch. Oh, there's a Freemason showing his true colors. Did you hear what he said? No one else would have done such a thing, ladies and gentlemen because we're not talking about anything else and we are not revealing anyone else so there you have an example of the true colors of one of these subversive mindless robot puppet twits 520-333-4578 he didn't even have the guts to refute the facts and none of them do with me they can do it with someone who doesn't know or when they're playing a game with another one of their own, such as Art Bell. But they can't ever and will not ever do it with me. They haven't got the guts. Because I open up my vast library of their own works here and I quote their own greatest authors, greatest writers, and greatest speakers until they are left absolutely dumbfounded and driven into the dust. You poor, miserable, ignorant twit. Gutless, coward is what you were by doing such a thing. And you talk about 
you actually talk about the uh, <laughs> the rules of the lodge that you must lead such wonderful moral lives. One of the oaths, ladies and gentlemen, says that they will honor they will honor and protect the wives and daughters of their fellow brothers of the lodge. But all other women are fair game. 520-333-4578. And that should uh, convince those of you who have accused me of uh, screening the calls that it's not true. No calls have ever been screened on this broadcast. And by the way, we are not responsible for the profanity or the insults that anyone uh, may hurl out at the world when they call. We have no idea who's on the other end of the phone when we answer it. 520-333-4578 is the number. And you all know the subject. So let's hear your thoughts on this. And if there's a Freemason out there who's got some guts and also some brains and some intelligence and knows how to put forth an argument intelligently, please call. <laughs> what do you want to bet, folks, that that will never happen? And if it does, what do you want to bet that I score a knockout? I'm glad. I'm sorry that he said what he did, but I'm glad that he called. Because nothing, nothing could illustrate the true nature of the Brothers of the Lodge better than that last caller did without any help from me or anyone else. Good evening. You're on the air. Yes, this is Bruce from North Carolina. Hi, Bruce. Is, uh, there are many Freemason members in the Mafia or organized crime. Oh, that's a very interesting and very, uh, 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 very good question. The Mafia was actually formed from youth gangs in Sicily by a man named Giuseppe Molini, Mazzini, not Molini, but Mazzini. His name was Giuseppe Mazzini. And uh, he formed the Mafia from street youth gangs long, long, long time ago. Now, if you watch the, uh, the uh, series of movies called The Godfather, yes. you will see that during one of these episodes, or one of these, uh, I think there was three of them, uh, that the uh, the Godfather is being actually initiated into a secret order. Were you aware of that? Did you see all three episodes? Well, I, when I was I was uh, sixteen, seventeen, when I saw that, and okay. I didn't remember it. Okay, I su I suggest that everybody watch it from the beginning all the way to the end, and you will see that he is initiated into a secret order, and that the secret order has something to do with the Vatican. You will also, by studying the history of the secret orders and the Italian secret orders in particular, find reference to the uh, the uh, um, P1 and P2 lodges of Italy. There's also a P3. Have you ever heard of those lodges?